This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 90 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle moments, healing and blessing festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com Our email godslove at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. Pastor, this is Lenny. For over th three years, she's been suffering with tearing in her eyes and blurred vision. She told me she checked herself, she's able to see clearly and the tearing has completely stopped, Pastor. Completely tearing has gone, vision. child. And the blurred vision, as you can see clearly there, you can see clearly and the blurred vision and the tears all out. Oh, she praises Jesus. Shout aloud and say, praise Jesus. Shout aloud and say, praise Jesus. Pastor, this is Anish. He has been suffering from one month back ache. But he made it to church last Friday for the first time. And the Lord healed him totally. All the pain is gone, son. Completely. Can you bend down, my son, and show me? And do a back. Hallelujah. All the pain is gone, son. Completely gone. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands and say, thank you to Jesus. Came with a severe back pain tonight, pastor. Suffering for quite some time. But tonight, the Lord healed his back. He can bend tonight, he can lift up tonight, he can move tonight, and the pain that he had is no more. Hallelujah, Jesus my healed. God. Lift your hands to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. He loves you, my son, he loves you. Pastor, this is Nicholas. Since he was in grade two, he's been having teary eyes. And when you prayed right now, Pastor, he went to the fan area, the fan blew around his eyes, and he's perfectly whole. All the tearing is stopped, you checked and the fan blew and you, it's fine now. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, this is Christopher. He's been suffering from pain on the neck. He couldn't move his neck this way, not to the left or to the right. But when you prayed right now, Pastor, he got here totally. You can move, son, this way, that way, everywhere, all the way. You can lift your hands and move, my son. It's all fine. Who healed him? Who healed him? Lift your hands to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Live my son, live my child. Live. This is Geraldine. For some time she's now she's been suffering with strain in both her eyes and blurred vision. She told me all that strain in her eyes is completely gone. And also the whole service today she didn't use her glasses. She believes she's been completely healed. You are able to write. Lip, bring your glasses next time and don't wear it. Yes, lift your hands to Jesus. Who healed her? Pastor, this is Calvin. For two weeks, Calvin has not been able to bend 
or twist his body. But when you pray this night, pastor, he's been whole. He's been bending and twisting in excitement. Who got healed? You or he? He, he got healed. He got healed. Come here. My son, show me how you bend. Show me how he, he, he did it better than you, I tell you. Huh? All the pain is gone, son. Completely gone. Throw two thumbs. Huh? KFC, KRC. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands. I sing praises to your name. My entire life, God has long and abundant until rapture with my family. He loves you. 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 Your name is great and greatly to be praised. Romans 8 verse 35. Romans 8 verse 39. Who can separate us from the love of God? It's all powerful, this love of God. It's all powerful, the love of the Father. No sickness can separate you my, from every, no, no sorrow, no fear, no work of the defeated devil can separate you from the love of God. He loves you. How many of you know that your Father loves you? How many of you know that your Savior loves you? How many of you know that the Holy Spirit loves you? God does, is not here to condemn you. God is not here to make you feel that you are a sinner. My darling child, he wants to make you feel that you are his child. That is what the gospel says. Gospel says you are his child. He is ready to forgive you. He is ready to wash you. This is the readiness table. God is ready to wash me and you with his blood all the time. My loving child, my beloved child, repent. My dear child, repentance is not telling all the history of your sins. Repentance is not telling all the details of you, what you did or what I did. Repentance is telling God, now I know you are my father and I am your child. And I know that I am worthy of your forgiveness because of the blood of Jesus. You are worthy of the forgiveness of God. Do you know that? You are worthy of the forgiveness of God. You are worthy of the blessing of God. You are worthy of the healing of God. Because this is a worthiness table. My loving child, you and I, when we take this table, remember, you and I have been made worthy by the blood of Jesus and his bodily resurrection. My darling child, here is a father coming. He didn't come there, plead and cry and say all kinds of words and a huge history of his child's disease and this and that. He said, you come, put your hand on my child. And what did he conclude the prayer? You tell me. You look at the Bible. You look at the Bible. Matthew 9, verse number 18. My darling children. And you tell me, how did he complete his prayer request? Huh? Live. Have you read that? You may not have a job. You can come and say, Lord, I don't have a job. But now that I have come to you, believing the blood of Jesus and the resurrection of Jesus with his body, I will receive my job. I thank you, God. That's your prayer. Keep on thanking God. Keep on praising God. You may be here with a physical disease ailment. You say, God, I have this, I have this. Doctors have said this, 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 this. But I've come to you, Father, in Jesus' name. By the blood of your son, Jesus, and the resurrection with his body of your son, Jesus, I am now ready to receive my healing in, and wholeness in my body. And I know I will live healed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. That is how 
you conclude and complete your prayer. Never complete and conclude your prayer with your want. Complete and conclude your prayer with what God is going to give you. With that is faith. That is faith. That is faith. Write it down, my darling children. Th that is faith. Here is a father facing such a precarious, sorrowful situation. Such an adversity in his life. Such a sorrow. He says, my child will live. My home will have life. My husband will have life. My wife will have life. My mother will have life. My father will have life. My children will have life. I will have life. Everywhere there shall be life. My darling children, do you believe that today? After hearing this preaching, you don't need any further prayer. But still pastors will pray for you. After hearing this preaching, you don't need any further prayer. Because he is greater than my prayer and your prayer. He is greater than my words and your words. He is greater than anything of mine or you. The great one, lift your hands to Jesus. <laughs> You are coming to the table of the great one. You are coming to the table of the one who has made you and me worthy partakers of his life and life in abundance. Jesus, the Bible says he rose. He arose and followed him. Oh, my beloved, I, I take permission from the Lord to say this. The, the, the resurrection power of Jesus today follows you into your family into your family into your home into your job into your finance into your physical body into everything that you do for the glory of jesus the resurrection power of jesus the resurrection life he rose with his body we are witness to his resurrection paul said my darling children, he loves you. No matter what your problem is, no matter what your sorrow is, no matter how hard you have tried and you feel tired. My darling child, the love of God never gets tired. You may get tired. You may get worked up. You may get worn off, waiting and waiting, trying this, trying this, trying that. Oh, my darling child, his love is anew every morning. Lamentations 3 verse 22 and 23. He mercy, his mercy endures forever. He is here. He rises up with his power to come with you in every place of your life. My dearest children, my blessed children. And when he went home to that father's house, the Bible says something to you and me. This is the crux of tonight's message. My dear children, 24th verse. As he went in 23rd verse, as he came into the ruler's house, I'm reading from Matthew's gospel, 9th chapter, verse 23. He saw the minstrels and the people making a noise. He said unto them, give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. You know, the real power of God works when you and I are still and silent and sure of his love for us. My darling child. We can make all the noise. But when the great Holy Spirit. Takes the preeminence. On Christ. And fixes it on Christ. The one who rose from the dead. For you and me. You and I have to just say. God I give place to you. It's not my prayer. It's not my preaching. It's not my achievements. It's not my personality. It's not my charisma. It's not my education. It's not my money. It's not my saving. It's not my children. It's not my family achievements. It's nothing. God, I give place to you and to you and to you to take all the glory in my life. To take all the praises. To take all the honor. My loving savior. I give place today God. That's the crux of tonight's message for you and me.
my loving child that here today the Holy Spirit is entering into your life today through this passage God I give way today nothing else is important for me nothing else takes importance in my life my interest is you God my interest is you all the time Jesus to bring you pleasure to bring you happiness to bring you glory to bring you praises to bring you honor my darling child, my blessed children, my precious children, if everything that you do has one purpose, to bring praises unto him, everything that you do will prosper. Streams of Miracle Life is Pastor Dale's latest book. Every module in this book is anointed with the power of God and his truth. There are also testimonies and praise reports that confirm God's living word. As you read this book, believe in the Lord Jesus and you shall have life and life in abundance. Everything that I do will prosper because Jesus is in it. He dwells in the midst of his praises. Psalm 22 verse number 3. Hebrews 13 verse number 15. My darling child, he is here. If you praise him, even at the worst of your trial, you may not have money, you may not have job, you may not have health, you may not have peace, you may not have joy, you may be waiting to give up on everything. But this is the table that reminds you that still you have a victory to rejoice on this earth. Still, you have a victory to receive on this earth. Still, you have a life in abundance to live on this earth. With this table you are reminded I can rise up again I can make it again I can rejoice again I can sing praises to him again It's not money It's not my career It's not my marriage It's not my children It's not my all that I think I have My darling You are the salt of this earth Every one of you Give place to him. Let not your career or your money or anything stand there. Give place to him. Give place to him. Give place to him. Let everything that I do bring praises unto you, God. Then all things that I do will prosper. No matter how hard you work, he knows your inner attitude. It's not your actions, but your attitude. My loving child, it's not your task that you achieve and do. It's your temperament with which you do that. It's not your, the methods that you uh, 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 um, apply to do things. It's your motives inside you. See, Lord, if there is any wicked way in me, let there be truth in my innermost heart. Psalm 51 verse 5, Psalm 139 verse 24. My darling children, Cleanse me, Lord. Create in me a clean heart. Psalm 51 verse 10. I come to you. Now, when you come to him, you don't have to bring all your sins and start telling what your great, great, great father did and all. No, I come to you. You are my father. I am your child. By the blood and the resurrection of Jesus, I repent and come to you. God, the rest is all from you. He is here tonight. Give place to him. Don't hold on to anything of yours or mine. Give place. Jesus went and put his hand. Just as how the father told. He put his hand on that child. And they were all laughing and mocking. When Jesus said she is asleep. When servants of God say this, they, they will live. Don't go here and there and get other opinions. There are servants of God like Jesus today on this earth. My loving children, like Jesus there, God knows it. I know nothing. What they say, God will be careful to listen and do it then and there. My loving children, he loves you. He is here today to see that our hearts are clean inside. Our bodies are holy. Our bodies are holy. Our minds are pure and clean. This table restores you and me with Christ. Oh, he has nothing against you. He loves you. 
Give place to him. God, remove every sin. God, remove every bad thought. Remove every bad words. Remove every bad attitudes. Remove every bad uh, intentions. Remove every bad aspirations and expectations. Worldly expectations. Worldly success. Worldly achievers. You don't have to be an achiever. Be a receiver of Christ. My loving children. My blessed children. Receive his life. Receive his purity. Receive his power. Receive his peace. Receive his joy. Receive his abundance. Receive him in wholeness in you and me. He is here tonight. Nothing else matters. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Let everything be done for his praises. And he will do everything for your prosperity on this earth. Your soul, your home, your family, your health, your finance, your peace, joy. All will prosper for you and me on this earth. Prosper means to brighten up. Prosper means to increase. Prosper means to swell up. Prosper means to overflow. Prosper means to give out to those who have nothing in this world. Who have nothing. You can give out of your very belly rivers of living water will flow. Out of your very belly rivers of living water will flow. You will be a giver of life. You are the salt of this earth. Every one of you. It's not so don't use God to come up in life in your profession. I'm talking to Christians here. Don't use God to achieve something in your office. To achieve something in your family. To achieve something for your success. No. God knows how to bless you. He is your father. He is your father. He will give you the best in Jesus name. But let your attitudes, let your motives, let your innermost temperance, let your innermost ideas be God whatever and wherever and whenever and however and why ever, wherever I am, let me be your glory for your pleasure, for your praise and for your glory and for your honor. My home, my family, my body, my health, my finance, everything, my very breath, God will bring praises unto you. Everything you do will prosper. Everything you have will prosper on this earth. Everywhere he will increase you and comfort you and me. Psalm 71, 21, give place. Give place. You and I, give. this is a giving place room. When you take this bread and wine, there is only one prayer that you and I have to do. God. Help me by the power of your blood, Jesus. By the power of your bodily resurrection. Jesus, help me to give place to you. I live in a world that is full of filth and fantasies, God. I live in a world where I have to meet the standards of the world. And thereby I lose your standard. My loving Savior, I give place in my body. In my mind, in my family, in my home, in my finance, in everything for you today. You know what happened? That girl rose from the dead. You know what is happening here? There is life coming to you in Jesus' name. What that was removed from you will be given back in Jesus' name. Oh, the power of his resurrection will come with peace in your life. The joy will come with the power of resurrection. Finance will come with the power of resurrection. Health will come with the power of resurrection. Your family will be restored with the power of resurrection. Every goodness and mercy and every life needed in this world will be given to you and me with the resurrection power of Jesus. You will lose nothing. You will lose nothing. I will lose nothing. That girl just got up. And went to the mother and father and Jesus told the parents, give her good food and he went off. My darling child, tonight everything good, everything praiseworthy, everything clean, everything long standing and everlasting, everything victorious and triumphant will rise up in your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of his resurrection, your children will rise up, your home will rise up, your health will rise up, your goodness and mercy of Christ in you will rise up, your peace will rise up, your joy will rise up, the need at finances will rise up, godly character will rise up, you will rise up in Christ.
as that girl rose, you and I will rise up. No one is perfect. I am the least of you. When the great one comes here with his resurrection, we will all rise up and live, live, live long years until rapture. My darling child, you may be broken today. You may be crushed today. You may be wondering why I did this. Why I made this mistake. Why I did this wrong thing. My darling child, everything wrong has been blotted out by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. You are coming to this table as a worthy child. Waiting to rise up. I come to rise up. I take this to rise up. Jesus arose and I will rise with him. In every, your children, your home, your husband, your mother, father, living, your wife, your, your future, your finance, everywhere there shall be the resurrection power of Jesus in your life and my life. Jesus loves you and my books are there. Jesus Christ heals even now. Jesus Christ heals even now my book, my latest book on rapture. My beloved people, everyone washed by the blood of Jesus, everyone who loves Jesus is going to be taken up in midair very soon. We are going to be raptured as we live on this earth in these coming long years. We are going to go into our Father's mansions. He is going to come in midair to take us, rapture us, my latest book on rapture, don't miss that. And my powerful book, Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. And then streams of miracle life, streams of miracle life. Get these books. My magazines, every three months we put out magazines, signs, wonders and miracles. Every three months we send them internationally and it's full of credible documented evidences of God's instant miracle healing works. Testimonies, praise reports in our magazines. You can send your request, we'll get it across to you. Signs, wonders and miracles magazines. All our miracles, it's increasing. John 14, 12, greater works, greater works now until rapture. It's increasing, it's increasing. We will send you our magazines, signs, wonders and miracles. Send us your prayer requests, send us your requests. We will pray with tears and you will receive your miracle. We love you and more than us, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and you can watch us on various television channels as well. Jesus loves you. See you again and Jesus loves you.